What's up? Welcome back. Today we're taking a look at Sorel Amore and shout out to Carla for recommending her. My name is Kev. I do these creator breakdowns in the hopes of teaching you guys or whoever's watching this uh, just a little bit more about video creation. I absolutely love making videos. I've made videos for so long and went to school for film and now I just I admire all the creativity that's on the internet right now with creators and it feels like it's getting to a point where it's just booming with creativity and filmmaking and I absolutely love it and I wanted to create this channel to one hopefully showcase a lot of these artists and what they do really well but also to just be able to talk to people about filmmaking and video creation in a way that I want to. So if any of these videos do inspire you, if you watched any of these ones, please like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. Uh, I would love for this to grow out into something more and hopefully do this full time where I could talk to creators about their videos and that would be amazing. And as always, if you guys want to watch these videos first, which I do always recommend, make sure you go watch her videos. If you guys enjoy and like her stuff, please subscribe and support her. So the video we're going to cover today is called Iceland's Nature and Emptiness is Healing. And I wanted to choose a video where it was a lot more storytelling based. She does do a lot of talking head stuff, but obviously on this channel, I do talk a lot about video creation and filmmaking techniques. So I wanted to choose one that, you know, was really heavy on the storytelling and the writing and you know music all that kind of stuff so this one was perfect so let's get into it i like the drone shot this movement is nice because the drone is moving forward but it's also doing this um pivot right so sometimes you'll see, and you know, with drones and cameras in general, there's different types of movement. You know, this shot, the drone could have just went left to right, but what the operator is doing is actually moving like forward, but also turning it from left to right. So it gives it this nice feel. Because this is about Iceland's nature and emptiness, understand that a lot of these shots are probably going to be very grand and very wide. Can never get enough of like these wide shots. She's like super tiny. And what this does is it actually makes her feel like a small person in this big world. And I think it goes with the video about talking about, you know, the nature side of things, but also the emptiness. I feel like a lot of the shots in this, from what I saw, Everything is so grand, everything is so wide, and it gives you that sense of emptiness. Boom. Even like this shot makes you feel like that. Like, look how tiny she is. It's like you almost don't even see her. She almost had to set up that whole shot with her walking because I feel like if it was just this, people would just glaze over it and just not even see her. Damn. This is great. We're like 44 seconds in. I don't know how long this video is going to be. It might be long. There's a lot of great stuff. This would feel different if she started with this and then slowly started moving in. All right. And the idea is if you wanted someone to feel like lonely or empty, going from tighter shots to wider shots does that so well. Because this would feel different if you started, like, you know, think of shows and movies where they show, I'm going to think of Game of Thrones just because they did a lot of Game of Thrones stuff here. They all show the landscape and then it goes tighter and then it goes in to, you know, the interior of a castle or the interior of the war room. And it's different. So I forgot to preface. She's also a photographer. Uh, is what, was what I learned. So the composition in her shots, understand that they're probably not just by luck. There's a lot of thought that goes into this, like leading lines, what certain angles that she's choosing. 
there's just a lot that goes into it. That's why I feel like this one is going to be a banger. Oh, run, run. After all, Iceland is our backyard and almost everything is completely open to us. Barren, empty at times, but open. She said barren and empty at times. I already got that feeling from these shots, but this specifically. Because you know that there are chairs here and that, you know, people are supposed to be sitting in chairs. And she's all the way at the very, very back. Like she's out here. It's a great shot selection that she did here. It feels empty. And just because you understand and you know that people are supposed to be here, as opposed to all the shots where she's outside, it, you know, it, it's a little bit of a different vibe. Feels a little like we're the last people on earth. Every footstep we take in a usually overwritten with tourist location. She's marrying the images to the writing perfectly. Talking about footsteps and feeling like the last people on earth. Is washed away as quickly as we left a mark. As though Mother Nature is taking this time to wash. Wash the way, and then the water coming in. Come on now. Come on now. And just like for so many others, it was a year of constant stabbing pain in the heart. And I didn't want to be in nature. I didn't want her embrace. I wish I did. So this shot right here, the camera is moving with, it's like a tracking shot. So it's walking with her. When a camera is doing that, it feels like the story is about the main character. When the shot is static, so let's just say it's on a tripod and she's walking away. It almost feels like that is about the environment. There's something about movement and the way you use it and just how, how things are shot. When people are actually really thinking about it and the way you it feels, the way movement feels, it really goes a long way. So just imagine this shot where it's just her kind of walking down. It all would also feel like maybe the ending of a story as opposed to this being like the beginning of a journey. Okay, this shot is great too because it almost makes it feel like this this piece of rock is moving. Like it's floating this way, right? And I think... To understand why it feels like that is because that same movement of the drone moving from left to right, but also following this piece and the waves moving in one direction. That's what makes it feel like that. Like it's actually moving. The idea of creating short films has kept me awake at night with excitement for weeks now. Making short films has always been my passion, but I think I got the vibe completely different when you shoot with and against the light this you know you get this whole silhouette but this like you can see the texture all this texture on this side and it's opposite right it's so dark behind here um what a good contrast i i think i got swallowed up by the algorithm beast The feeling of being swallowed up and showing these shots works so well. Works so well. So when I couldn't bring myself from stepping off the platform because I just felt so strongly that there was still something here for me, I thought why not just return to my passion and see if the creation process isn't as draining. I'll pause it. I was going to say something, but let's continue with this shot. There is nothing like these wide shots. You know, obviously you would need a drone or you'd need to walk completely far or have a landscape where you could do this. You know, you can't, it's hard to do this stuff in the city, but man, okay. This one is, does she go even further? No. Okay. Choice in, let's just say color. So this blanket works well. The, ye, I don't know if it was, I want to say, she understood what it would look like because I feel like she's very calculated in the way she chooses her shots and, you know, does all this stuff. Set design, wardrobe, all this stuff. This color works well along this. So if she was doing a shot list and she was like, all right, cool, I'm going to do a shot where I'm lying down on the road. Boom. Okay, what is going to look good? And it's like, okay, the ground is a dark color. 
you need something a bit lighter because me i already know my dumb ass would have just picked any blanket and then when we got there i'm like okay well it looks like i it's a dark blanket on a dark road and it just doesn't look as good but this looks amazing just because you can see her especially when you Creation zoom all the way out isn't as And, oh man, it's like hypnotizing. If you look at it, the camera's not just going up. There's like two movements with these drone shots. It's like, it is turning and it is going up. Like the other two drone shots that I talked about, it's either moving forward and backward or side to side, but it's also pivoting at the same time. And so this is the first adventure in nature with this shift in perception, seeing what life presents me instead. I've become the observer of life, not someone to force an outcome. And it's felt so nice so easy so natural i'm having the sudden itch to run around in a bikini at the empty skoka force because let's right in this moment me as a viewer i feel happy and it's because what she's saying she's talking about she's like you know not trying to chase a shot she's letting things come to her letting life present itself and just kind of documenting it in this like short film which is great but then the music comes in and it's a little bit happier and this is like the first time in the whole film where she smiles like right here you know what i mean boom she's with her person bob so, nice. so easy so natural and then From this next shot sudden itch to you know? run around in a big this is the eighth script for the video i tried to write hoping Ooh. something purely joyful this camera seems like it's super super low right to the water to level right and this feels different than this. I feel like majority of people would shoot their stuff like this, where maybe it is higher. But Something this really feels good. like you're like in it. Like as if here's the water and then you did one of these. Worlds and severe pain around missing my family finally mixed with sprinkles of amazement at nature. The numb feeling I've had for over 12 months is showing moments of interruption with joy. Extremely grateful for that. From feeling like very empty and very, I don't know, sad in the beginning to this where she's smiling and enjoying herself. Great storytelling. The simple wind on your face, the breathtaking sunset, the kiss from your loved ones. Maybe after all, life really is about that. And soon, my friends, you will be able to feel it all again. Mother Nature will be ready for you. <laughs> so cute. man what a great way to end it i think for me though i feel like i would have ended actually i don't know there's been different ways i would have tried this i think coming into the kiss and coming like from super wide because everything was going out in the beginning i think it going from wide all the way down to boom here when they share a kiss would have been would have been nice but you know this is great too I think it's just something that where in editing, I would have to just try to see and see what works and see how it feels. So if you guys did enjoy this, please like and subscribe. It goes a long way and it helps me out. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take it easy. Peace.